Hi guys and welcome along to another video. Today we're going to be looking at the NYX 8 inch digital photo frame. It's the X08E. I'm going to get it unboxed, show you what it comes with and then we'll give it a go and I'll let you know my thoughts. So this is what comes in the box. You get the photo frame itself with a nice protective sticker over it. User manual. This is a user manual for lots of different models and in lots of different languages. And it's pretty thin so hopefully it's pretty simple. A couple of stickers about sharing your views, exactly what I'm doing now. You get a little remote, which is actually quite funky. It's like a square, little tab to pull out to release the battery. And the back is really like funky tactile. I like that. I'll probably lose it though. And you get obviously the power adapter. This comes also with the two prong one if you're not in the UK. So the box runs down some of the basic specifications, plug and play real photos from an SD card. It's actually got a USB port on, I'll show you in a second, I'm hoping you can use that. Uh, motion detector so it turns off when you're not in the room. Plays photos in 720p HD videos. I've got a few videos we can test it out with. Oh, the screen resolution is actually 1024 by 768 which is higher than I imagined it would be. So look at the frame itself, there's a protective sticker over the front. Asking me to activate my 12 month warranty. There's a sensor on the front left, I imagine that's for the um, motion detection, that's probably for the IR for the remote. It's really thin, just got a base which acts as the stand. On the base here there's controls for front, back, up, down, play, uh, power, what looks like menu. Then you've got the SD card slot, a USB port which I'm hoping you can plug in and use that for photographs. A head, head, headphone adapter if you want to get, listen to the sound of the videos or plug a speaker in and the 5 volt DC adapter. I've loaded up this SD card with some beautiful pictures and some videos so I'll plug it in and we'll see how it works. So before I plug it in I've just noticed when you plug the SD card in it actually sticks out quite a long way. It doesn't go all the way in which you would expect from an SD card slot and actually when it's resting on a foot on a surface it's not far away from bending that, so if, if that gets pushed back at all, it's going to snap the SD card right in half. So when you first turn it on, you're greeted by this menu, play, calendar and the settings. I was actually very surprised at the clarity of the screen, it's really nice matte effect, looks really nice. You can control the menus using the buttons I just showed you, left and right, menu is back, the middle button there is accept. I've got a USB plug in as well just to make sure that works. So we go into play first. You can choose whether to play from the SD card or from the USB and then to play all media, all videos or all photos. So I just go all photos from the SD card, press go and it starts a slideshow of all the pictures I've loaded. It shows the time in the bottom left hand corner and the date. You can turn that on and off in settings, I'll show you that in a moment. After a few seconds it checkers to the next picture. You can set the transition in the settings, I'll show you that now. So if I press the menu button to go back, back again, back again, this is just browsing the uh, folders. Actually let's just play videos first. Oh, and it's got speakers. There are the speakers. Oh yeah, there it is on the back there, on the bottom. Speaker. There you go. I imagine you can also choose to mute videos in the settings. Let's just go back. Right, let's have a look at the settings next. So in here we've got the display settings, like the brightness, contrast, saturation. The slideshow effect is quite a, probably a good one. Slide up, slide down, slide left, slide right. There's a random, no effect, my favourite kind. You can choose how fast it goes, the order of them, which I think I usually like to have these kind of things on shuffle. And then the screen mode, which is fit, so if you've got different aspect, aspect ratio pictures. So, time settings. You can have show whether you show the clock at all, or just have the pictures, where the clock is, the format of it, so you can have it as numbers or the actual month. Lots of different parameters there. English, language, or I imagine you can change this to French, it changes all the menus, yep. 
media priority, so that's where it takes pictures from first if you've got both plugged in correctly. Autoplay, movie repeat, and there's mute all media, which I think I'm gonna say yes to. Never play audio, perfect. And then the motion sensor, which I'll try and give you a demo of now. I'm gonna go five minutes. Right then, there's the photo frame. I left it for five minutes to see how the motion detection works. Let's have a look. Definitely off. <gasps> and now it's on. Finally, in sleep, we can schedule it to not turn on at all during certain hours. So you had this in a bedroom and you didn't want it to activate when you were moving around in bed. You could set times when it was on. Back out to menu. The other setting we have here is calendar. That just shows you the current date with time. Oh, and a little slideshow of your pictures. So that's a nice little thing, feature if you had it in an office or something like that. So the remote control. You can turn it on and off, sleep mode. I think the top right hand button turns the slideshow on if you're on the menu. All the normal controls up, down, left, right, play. So if you're on a picture you want to stop on, you can pause it and play. Back, takes you back to the menu as it would in the controls on the back of the device. And then the bottom right takes you straight to the settings so you can move around just as you can in the menu buttons on the back of the device. And the top right hand button takes you back to the slideshow. So what are my final thoughts on this Nix X08E digital picture frame? Um, I'm really impressed with the screen. It looks really smart. The uh, effectively 720p resolution looks really good on this small screen. I'm really impressed with the menu system. It's super simple to use. You just plug stuff in the back and away you go. Just press play basically. That makes it a really great gift for grandparents or parents if you want to buy them something for their birthday to show off your pictures of your family or whatever. Um, I'm pleased that it works from USB. I was under the impression that it only worked on uh, SD cards, so I was going to have to sacrifice one of my SD cards permanently to be in the back of it. So that's really good. Looks-wise, I think they could have made it look a bit more like a traditional picture frame, maybe a wood effect surround. I know you can get these with that, they're slightly more expensive, so maybe if you want something to blend in with your bookshelf or whatever, that might be the way to go. Also, I would have liked to have seen cloud integration. Now, I think that's available on the newer models, I'll stick a link in the description below to one of those where you can connect to your Wi-Fi and then it can connect to your say Google Photos account so you don't have to be constantly updating the USB stick in the back so it will just take whatever your latest pictures are and display them, that will be really handy. I can imagine what I'm going to find is I'll put a load of pictures on here and then I probably won't update them again for a year so I won't get the latest pictures from my phone or anything like that. You can get this photo frame on Amazon for usually around 50 to 60 pounds. I've seen it as low as 49.99 in a Black Friday sale, so look out for that. So overall guys, I'm really impressed and it's a thumbs up from me. Make sure to hit subscribe down here to be notified of my latest videos. Uh, we do new videos every week, reviews, unboxings, tutorials, that kind of thing. And if you have been, thank you for watching.